Good morning, good days, and good evening. I'm the Hopfoot. You can call me Hoppy if you really want. And this is a great big bucket of awesome. This is Battletech. I have been waiting for a game like this for a long time. See, I used to play the Battletech games back in my high school days. I think I might have mentioned it in the Mech Warrior game videos. But I used to play the tabletop game back in high school. And for someone to actually take that tabletop board game and turn it into a PC strategy game. Now, yes, I know, there has been a Mech Warrior strategy game, and that was Mech Commander and Mech Commander 2. Both very awesome games. I love them. But this is the board game. This is turn-based strategy, this one. I've only just um, donated some money as a backer to, uh, was it Hairbrain Scheme Studios, uh, the guys who made uh, making this, developing it, in line with Cryptic, uh, was it Crypt Cryptic Labs, those are the guys who currently own the rights to Battletech. They released the Battletech introduction, introductory box set uh, some time ago, which I do have a copy of. Still haven't yet played it, but I did used to play with the miniatures back in high school. I used to have three miniatures of myself. I think I had a Wasp, a uh, Panther, and uh, either a Commander of a, or a Valkyrie or something. I can't remember all of them. I just know that one of them was a panther. That much I definitely remember. This is just the beta. This has not been released. Because I donated some money to the guys, I got sent a code for Steam. Um, it'll also be coming out on GOG.com and um, Humble. If you're interested, go ahead and check out the website, which I'll be putting in the description down below. But let's go in and have a look now and see what we've got here. So this will basically be my review. Um, also, new computer. This is the new computer that this is all happening on, right? Hello? Well, that was a lovely little voice there, wasn't it? She called me Commander. Um, so yeah. This is the new computer that we're playing this on, so we can expect some nice graphics. However, in saying that, I have turned the graphics down. Because I'm waiting on some new cooling units for the computer before I start really pushing its limits. Because I've had a couple of issues just recently. I was playing, um... T testing out Subnautica just to see how well it would run and it overheated the CPU so I'm getting a new cooling unit for the CPU just to really cool that bastard down um, alrighty then so from the looks of it we start off with a lance on either side so this is the enemy lance this is my lance looks like we have the same mechs to start off with what have we got here uh, okay there's some presets here so different kinds of lances, different mechs in there. Uh, I'll get to looking at all that another time, so just I don't want to waste too much time here. Let's have a quick squiz and see what mechs we've got. Um, sort by name, cost, tonnage. Let's sort them by tonnage, so we go from the big ones down to the small ones. So we've got the Atlas mech. You can't have a mech warrior slash battle tech game without an Atlas. Uh, we've got an awesome uh, battle, sorry, battle master, awesome, Victor, Orion, Yaga mech, uh, Catapult, Quick Draw, Shadowhawk, Griffin, Shadowhawk, Griffin. Okay, so we got Griffin and Shadowhawks. Uh, then Kentaro, the good old Hunchback. I think that's the one I. In fact, yeah, there's a Hunchback in there. Uh, Hunchback 4G, that's the one I've got in Mech Warrior, except I swapped out his Auto Cannon for something else. Because, yeah, Auto Cannon 20, and I think I swapped it out for a pair of Auto Cannon 5s and more ammunition. Uh, Centurion, uh, Trebuchet, Vindicator, Panther! That's the one I've got! I've got a pan- Oh shit, did I just select that? I didn't mean to select that. What do we have? An Urban UMR60. Okay, we'll, we'll get that one back in. That one there, or RBO, whatever it is. Uh, Urban Mech, Jenna, Commando, and a Locust! Cool! So Locust is a nice light little mech. He's really fast as well. He's good for um, reconnaissance and such. But you can see there, his speed is right up there. This is cool too. This this reminds me a lot of the old game with the your um, technical readout sheet. Just the look of it, you know, the very basic mech status and all that sort of stuff, which was in Mech Commander as well. In fact, actually, except in Mech Commander, it, it, there was the placement of things just was a bit off to me. Anyway, so that's that. If I just press Escape, will that get me out? No, just click anywhere. Okay, all right. Uh, so, and we've got pilots as well, and looks we'll like the pilots have got themselves some skills here. So, who's this? This is Buckshot. Uh, what's Buckshot got? Buckshot has Bulwark. Bulwark? Is that how you pronounce it? That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Oh yeah, see my portal turret? Right there? Isn't that cute? 
Um, it's a passive ability. You gain guarded when remaining stationary. 50% damage reduction against range attacks to the front and side. Well, that sounds cool. Um, so you've got the same ability, I think. Yeah, you've got the same ability. Oh, and we've got gunnery, piloting, guts, and tactics. So gunnery and piloting, as I remember, were at least... I think it was the 3050 rules I used to play. I can't remember which rule set I played when I played Battletech, but I think it might have been the 3050 rule set. But you had gunnery and piloting. I don't know anything about guts and tactics. Oh, and they had preferred battle mechs as well. So she's not exactly in a preferred battle mech at the moment. That's fine. You can stay in there anyway. So let's see here. Uh, let's go... Let's go sunny day. Where's sunny? That's sunset. Rainy day, foggy night, foggy day, twilight. Yeah, let's just do sunset. Sounds beautiful. River crossing. We'll keep it standard. We'll leave them as they are. We'll leave everything else as it is. Uh, Lance value budget. Okay, so that's the amount of credits I guess you can have. So clash, battle, and a war. Yep. All right, let's just play a game. Let's keep things moving. I just want to check the heat of the computer here. Yeah, she's getting pretty damn warm. Okay, there's a chance things may just suddenly cut out and we won't get to see any more of the game. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, uh, yeah, so really hoping that doesn't happen, but it's all up to the PC gods right now as to whether or not we're going to get to play this. So launch. Right, we do have the graphics turned down, so maybe that'll help. Okay, so zooming in. It is a sea I'm assuming there. the zoom it doesn't appear to be a zoom out. There is, but not very well. Oh, there we go, now it's zooming out. Zoom in, zoom in. Okay, first bug developers, when I went to zoom in straight up, I couldn't then zoom straight back out for some reason. Or is that just over here? Okay, it's when I'm looking at the water here. Oh, there's a restriction to how far out you can be zoomed. Okay, alright. So, we're able to zoom out, move over an area, then zoom in, but we can't zoom back. Okay. Um, that could be a little annoying. Maybe restrict the zooming altogether to, to, a, to a maximum and a, and a minimum. Uh, not from the terrain, maybe from an average. I, I don't know. I'm not a developer. You guys know what you're doing. And you're doing a bang up job so far from what I've seen in gameplay videos. So again, this is on the low graphics. We've got to turn around. Look at that. It's just looking beautiful. Hey, the sun is reflecting off him there. The mechs actually, the model of the mechs look very much like they might be based on the models in MechWarrior Online. Because that hunchback looks very familiar. Alright, so better keep moving because I don't want the computer to overheat. Commander? You... Oh, this is cool. Alright. That is a hexagon based system. Six points from each point. See right there, six points from each point. This is a hexagon based grid, which is brilliant because that's what you played on in the game. And your range is dependent on the amount of maneuvering that you have to do as well, because in the game, in the board game, when you would turn, that would in that would use up a movement point. And in fact, it looks like maybe go yeah, going through here will affect how far I can move too. Whereas that is faster, because traveling through woods takes up movement points as well. Okay, so which one have we got here? We got the Kintaro. Alright mate, I am going... What have you got? You've got medium lasers, SRM6 and their own pipe. So I'm going to send you down here. Facing... Let's just say that way. Um, What's up, oh, Commander? Okay, keep going, alright. So this is a turn... Like I said, this is a turn-based strategy game. So I'm having my go. And then the other fellow will have his go. And then so on and so on, back and forth. I'm going to send him up here just to keep an eye on things from up here. Does he have a jump pack at all? Is there any way... I don't think he does. Yeah. No, hey. he doesn't, but they do. Okay. Okay, we can select him from here as well. So, Sumo, um, yeah, I want you to come up here and face yourself out that way. Skipper. And... I'm thinking, yeah, I might send these two fellas down here with him. What now? Advancing, I guess. Alright. 
things are moving forward. So that's all of my movement. I can't do anything else. I can't shoot. So the enemy have an ego now. Enemy I contact. Got a bogey on my scanner. We have picked up an enemy unit moving beyond our visual range. We know it's a medium mech. So that's very cool. That's um. That's two death. medium mechs. Ooh, hello. So that would be their Hunchback and their Kintaro moving up there, because that's as much as we know they is what they have. But we don't know which one is which. I'm going to say, given how far he moved, this one's the Kintaro. I think. That, that's what I'm thinking. Um, let me see. Ready to rock. I'm here. Uh, I want to move you two a bit further. So I'm going to bring you just to here. Edge of that forest, go through. Does it knock down the trees? No, it doesn't. That's cool. Because the trees should always be there. Um, no, I don't want to quit. How do I get him to just stand there? Okay, just brace, I suppose. Do. There's no way to say basically that's it, that's all I want to do. I don't want to do anything else. So it's my turn now. Hey, um, you move to this position and same again just brace and now it's his turn okay so now we're going turn and turn because now we're starting to, to get into range of seeing one another I'm wondering if they can see my hunchback standing up here yeah okay, so can't what can I do you for to leave you up there. Standing by. Get you moving. Down here. Location confirmed. You have a sight on anything yet? No, you don't. Can I attack? No, I can't. Okay. What's the range of my attacks? Oh. Blue line! That'll be it. And this looks really fantastic. Let me just check that computer again. Fucking hell, we are running hot. Alright, just hold out for me. Alright, you need to hold on. You need to keep cooling yourself off. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to plow through it. If this doesn't work, we'll play some Mech Warrior later. When you've cooled off. Alright, you just brace there. Their turn now. And that's the Kentaro. Called it. He's coming in. He's going there, so he is facing off against my own Kentaro. I can't do anything except for this guy, so I am going to fire. We have a 55% chance of a hit with the AC-20 and the two medium lasers. We're not firing with a small laser, so we'll just do that one. This is passive uh, when using a single weapon. Right, so what if I turn off the two medium lasers and just use the AC-20? Target mark. Hit. I, I guess you call that a miss. Doesn't look like it. Maybe the AC-20 was a bad idea. Here comes the hunt back. Interesting, he decided not to attack them, and he should have. What are your orders, Skipper? Instead, he's just getting himself into, um, into position. Hit with an AC 10, 70% chance. Acknowledge, Commander. So dodge that. So that means I didn't do any damage. It's not good. I'm going to have to pull my Kintaro back. Yeah, they're starting to take shots now. Distance holding. Take damage. Wildfire, you're alright, sweetheart? You're doing all right, love. Just stay there, hold steady. And what? you... Wow. I want you to move here, face that Coffee. way. Get you a little bit closer. Fire and attack that Kintaro. Small laser ain't gonna do nothing. Open fire. Miss. Yeah. Okay, we're not doing too well. This game is awesome! Even on low graphics, this just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. 
What can I do you for? Wildfire. Um, oh, goody, we can do reverse. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna have you reverse it out of there, all the way back up to here. So I'm having a reverse, and this is really cool that you can do reverse. And something you could do in MechWarrior and Battletech is reverse your mech. And what that does is keeps the front of you facing the enemy. So that your weakest parts, your back of your torso, aren't in any sort of danger. Now we can lob fire over at the enemy because we can't see past that right there. We can... What can we get here? It looks like... We might be able to get him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Um, Alright, so I want to attack. We've got a 30% chance of a hit with our LRM5s. We've got a good chance of hits with everything else on the Hunchback. So I'm going to target that Hunchback. There's a much more better chance of hitting. And I'm going to... We're going all out. What's it called? Um, Alpha Strike. Holy shit, look at those little buggers go. They're even hitting him. Is that doing damage to him? Pilot injured. We hit the head. That's another thing too in the game. If you took a hit to the head, you had the target had to then roll for um, injuries, and that was where his piloting skill would come into play. Armor breach. Internal damage. All right, so you're down there now. I'm gonna pick this yeah. up. We're gonna do a bit of firing from above. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't get him, can I? What if I move to here? No. Where can I move to that I can hit him? I'm thinking I might just have to go here. Because he's too close now, I can't get him. He's just underneath me. So we're going to fire at him. We've got 65, 85, 85, and 85% chance of a hit. Activate all of your weapons and fire. Everything you've got done. Oh, nice, we did some damage to that torso there, the right torso. This hunchback's moving up. Taking a look at you, Jesus! We just lost the left torso, oh no! Oh, and he fell over! Oh, there's blood in my cockpit! Knocked down, pilot injured. Alright. <coughs> that was another piloting roll. He took so much damage, he had to do a piloting roll, and he just couldn't stay standing. He's fallen over. Standing by. Can I get you to get up? No, I can't. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Stand up. It's an action we can do here. Stand up, come on. That's another piloting skill roll to make sure he can stand up and doesn't fall over again. Hold on, buckshot. I want you to move. No, I don't want you to move. Just open fire on that katana, I think. Or should we go for the hunchback? Hunchback's lost a little bit of armor. Got a 50% chance hit with the with the ACM. But we just as much chance of being here. Alright, we'll just have to go for this one, I think. Affirmative. Oh, Bad luck. Really, to be the enemy's turn. He's shooting at my hunchback up here. He's doing well to take damage, I'll give him that. Ready to run. Attack the Kentaro, AC-10 and small laser. Oh, oh we took, he took a hit to the center torso that time. They're still shooting at the oh. oh no, 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 no! You sons of a bitches! They took out the head! That's the pilot dead! Shit! Well, I've lost this one. I've lost one of my two big hitters. Standing I've only by. got one chance left here. Fire everything you've got at that Confirmed. Well, not only did she overheat, but so did my computer. So my computer's also shut down. What you saw then was uh, her mech was overheating. I hope that's what you saw. Her mech was overheating and it shut itself down. My CPU is also overheating and it's also shut itself down. So 
Very realistic, guys. Great. I <laughs> love it. Oh, I seriously need to get those double heat sinks installed in my CPU. I have just gone into my settings and I've limited my CPU down and it seems to be holding now. I've run a couple of tests, it's all running fine now. Basically what happened is we overheated. Not just that last mech that overheated, in fact I don't think that it, that actually didn't make it into the footage but my Kentaro fired and after that last volley she overheated. But then right as she overheated my PC also overheated. So tops for realism on the game guys, it was great. Um, all, all jokes aside, I ha like I said, I've limited the CPU, we're not going to have another problem with overheating, I've run some tests, hopefully we're all good now. So we're starting up another game, I just found out that I can give the enemy random mechs, I can have them come out with a random lance. So this should be awesome, we've also upped the graphics back up again, so we should be looking all top notch now, so let's get back on into it. Let's go. I've also done just a little bit of tweaking with my forces. I changed my pilots and all, so what and whatnot. And I decided to go for a different sort of time setting. So I think we're in twilight. Uh, is the uh, setting of the day that I did the weather or whatever you want to call it? Uh, same map though, and here we go. We're gonna try again. What do you need? See if I can do a bit better this time. I'm sort of wondering if I need to change my strategy a bit though. If I might want to come around this way. Maybe. I don't know, let's see. What paths have we got? It is really dark. I'm gonna send my mechs over here. So you go there. Got the headlights are on. Waiting on you, Commander. You there. You got some fast movement on you. You're going all the way over here. Keep facing that way. Of course. What I want to do is basically I'm going to try and see if I can draw whatever heavier mechs they are going to bring in away from the lighter ones. Yeah. By basically making them come after me. They're making their move now. They're currently out of sensor range, so we're not picking anything up just yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Unknown mech. We've got someone on sensors. Alright. Yeah. Dark light, you're going first. I want you to sprint again. Except, I wonder if I can come up this way. Get you to jump up here. No. That's alright. Just want you to keep sprinting this way then. And showboat will be next. See, so you gonna move? Nope. Showboat, you're up next. Go for a sprint. Up to there. Keep going this way. Sprinting is also good too because in the board game, 25 ton mech coming in. That's a light. It's a commando. Oh, that'll be an easy killing. And a 20 ton mech. Right, so we've got a pair of scouts coming up. This guy's going to really run some trouble for us. <coughs> That's alright, we've got the cliff face behind us. I'm going to grab this guy. Now, this was something I did learn is that I could actually click on that base there and just turn him on the spot. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, let's just bring that camera around to a better angle. Now bring him up here, up against the cliff face, and turn him around that way. Done. So I'm using the cliff face for cover from my back to make sure no one can get in around behind them. And let's see, you got a 50% chance of that AC-20, but a 55% chance of those two medium lasers. 
We're going for it. It's 10 shots on this though. So, um, what is the range? It's long range plus 6. Yeah. See, this, these are all the modifiers basically. The shot modifier plus 10. And we've got a um, height difference is minus 1. Uh, size of the target is a plus 1. Uh, the target moved plus 1 and long range plus 6. So the shot modifier is plus 10. Which is why we have such a reduced chance to hit. So I'm going to take that off because it's 50%. I want that at 75 or higher given that I've only got 10 shots for this thing. So let's just fire those medium lasers and see what we can do. Oop, he's dodged both of them. He's been sprinting too, which makes him really hard to hit. Another mech coming in over there. What's he doing? He's bringing in another one. So he's got a whole bunch of lights from the looks of it. Oh, he hit showboat. You're not happy about that, are you, showboat? Okay, paradise. I want you to move here and face this way yes, Commander. once again keeping my back to the cliff face now then you got a 45% chance hit on all of those but we got 300 shots on the SRM 6s 120 on the LRM 5s but they got a good chance of hit so I'm going to go for all I'm loading a full tower Can't dodge everything, motherfucker! Unsteady, lost evasion. So he's lost his ability to evade shots. That's a good thing. Okay, Arclight. I want to bring you forward. To here, and turn. As the others keep you back to that wall. Yep, we're alright, we're firing an all again at them. We've got a 65% chance. I know I said 75, but 65 is gonna have to do. I'm taking the shot. It's a hit on the center torso! Oh, Armor yeah. is gone. And his medium laser has taken critical with damage. He's got a 55 to 255 ton mechs coming in. And one of them's just taken another shot at Showboat. Hold on in there, love. You can do it. It's your turn, sweetheart. Let's move up. Over here. You can't bring yourself around from there. That's alright. We'll come to here instead. In fact... Can you reverse up there? No, you can't. Make sure the reverse up here. Back it up there. Thank you. Attack that locust. I want to take him down as quickly as possible, I think. Ooh! He's taken a hit. He's fallen over! Land on you. Oh! If he'd landed on the front, he could have taken damage to the center torso, but he landed on his back. He's getting back up. What are you gonna do? Come on. You gonna go for a sprint or what? moving. He's moving pretty quick too. He's getting out of the firing arcs. Nope. He's taking a shot at Shadow Showboat. What else are you bringing in? You're bringing that commando up. That puny little 20 ton commando. What's up, commander? Sumo, I want you to do me a favour. Fire up the AC-20 and show that commando who he's fucking with. Take him down. Sumo, you missed, you piece of shit. Jesus Christ, mate. You had one job. Alright, let's get a look at these mechs. Come on, come on. There's the first one. What was it? I didn't see it. But it's got a shit ton of fun. It's Jesus Christ, showboat. You sh oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. You are not doing well at all. What came in? Oh, shit. It's a griffin. That's a problem. He's got LRMs. And as you just saw, he's using them. Okay. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 
I've got just as much chances as one on the other, pretty much. What's my chances on the Griffin? 85 of the LRMs. I'm thinking I'm gonna stuff up his day. Come on, Paradise. It's all on you, buddy. You can do it. Paradise, you suck and I hate you. Go to sleep. Just like that. Not like my computer. How's my computer doing? Computer's warm, but it's not as warm as him. Alright, I flight. I know my mechs aren't moving. That's a really bad idea. I'm probably going to get absolutely owned again. But I don't care. Shut up. AC-20, that little boss. Boo! Destroy! Suck it! Shadow Hawk. I was considering bringing one of those. Ooh, Showboat, you're taking the hits there. Like taking it like a real trooper. Guess what? I'm gonna get you out of there. Jump up here. There you go. Out of range and out of sight. Right. Brace yourself up there. Guarded and entrenched. Let the others take a few hits. Take a dark light. That's what you're there for. Sumo buddy, what can I do you for? don't be letting me down this time, alright? He hasn't moved. You've got a damn good chance of a hit. Take down that commando! Let's do it! Sumo, I'm feeling a little bit disappointed in your abilities here. Alright? We're going to have a talk later on. But I just want you to know I'm feeling very disappointed. And you're really letting the team down. Poor Arclight is getting her ass absolutely whooped right now. And to be honest, mate, it's your fault, Sumo. It's all your fault. Look at that. Arclight's fallen over. That is really all your fault, Sumo. Jesus Christ, mate. Get your shit together. Alright, Paradise. What are we gonna do, eh? Restart. Why would I want to restart? I don't want to restart. Oh, restart the mech! Oh, I was like, what do I want to restart the game? I'm not dead yet. Restart the mech. That makes sense. I'm gonna power it back up. I'm here. Alright, Arclight, sweetheart, you need to stand up. Okay? You, you're not doing any good to anyone. I know you're taking some damage. You want to have a snooze. You want to have a lie down. You just got to keep out of it, alright? I'll tell you what. I'll do you a little favor here. You're gonna jump out of there. You're gonna. You're not going to jump out of there, I'm sorry, there's no way you can go. Instead, you're going to sprint over to here. It's going to put you back to them, but it's going to get you that sprinting manoeuvre, which hopefully gives you that ability to, uh, you know, have a few misses, dodge some shots as you're running. Yep, yep. Down for me, hunchback now, you bastards. Commander? Not sure about is there anything you can do from up there? No. Can you jump to another position? I can jump you there. Face you that way. Oh, you got a chance to hit there. Yes you do. No, there, but there, yes. Alright. Open fire, sweetheart. Do me some proudness. That's some proudness. That's a leg at least. I'll take it. It's better than what that bloody sumo fella's doing. Okay, sumo. Can I give you a reverse command anywhere? No, I can't. I want Sumo. I want him to move and face that way. Oh, 
55 and 65, 60 and 70. What was it again? 55s and 65s, 60s and 70s. Alright, you're going for the bigger one, I think. What are we looking at? Plus 7. A pair of plus 4s. You can do it, buddy. What's your, what's your rating, eh? You gonna tell me? You're not gonna tell me? No? That's alright. Just piss off. Do your fucking job. Precision strike, alright? Use that shit. Sumo, for fuck's sake! Hit the bloody target! You suck! I'm gonna take that AC-20 off you if you don't fucking hit something. Here comes that Griffin again. He's coming into play. He's taking shots at Sumo. Sumo's taking it like a champion. Hey, like a stupid-ass champion that he is. Off. He can take a hit, but he can't give it out. You have orders? Alright, I'm thinking that I'm going to move you down here. Actually, I'm going to move you over to here. No, not quite there. One back. Right there. As you wish. Of course, I'm gonna sneak him around and get in on that Griffin. Now I've got a 70% chance to hit with the LRMs on the Griffin, a 90% chance on the Shadow Hawk, and everything is going at the Commando! Suck it long and suck it hard, sunshine! Yeah! Knock him over. Knock him over. Please knock him over. He's unsteady. He's not falling over though, I'm a bit disappointed, but we'll take it. Okay, Arclight, I want you to keep pulling yourself back there. Let's move. He's taken enough damage for me. And give another shot on that commander with an 85% chance to hit! Boom! Alright! I'm beginning to think I may have done more damage to them than they have done to me in total now, although they're only they're at 25%. Okay, now it's kind of a bit even. Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. No need for any of that shit, alright? There's, there's no need. Just calm, calm the hell down. Camera's way off centre. That's better. Alright, just calm down. Now you can see my hands. You can see what I'm doing here. Whoa! Whoa! All right, it's your turn. It's your turn to shine. 65 and 60. You're going for the little one. Do me proud, sweetheart. Do me proud! Roger that. That's pretty good! I'll take it. I'm not firing anything else at him. What's he got left? He's got just an SRM-6. That can do some damage. But that's all he has. I can do. Uh, Sumo, you, my friend, are going to make some maneuvers here. You're going to come back here and face that way. I probably actually should have just said reverse. That would have been smarter. Oh well. And 50, 60, 60, 45, 55, 55. So, yep, you're definitely attacking him. But you're not using that AC-20. I'm not having you waste your freaking ammunition again. Hit him. You missed one of them. That is the opposite of hitting him. What's this one doing? He's backing up. He's, he's cluing into what I'm doing. Oh, Arclight, sweetheart. You're right. Have a lie down. Just lie down. Alright, just... Have a rest. I'm hit. Get a bit of a breather. We'll get you up and out of there in a moment. Reporting. Right then, Paradise. Bringing you over to here understand. now. Get that Kentaro over here. Let's get a nice shot in on that fork. We got a shot in on him yet? No, we haven't. I'm seeing a lot of orange on there, but, mate got faith in you, okay? Do not let me down, alright? Do not let me down. I 
I like it, I like it, I like it. We did a bit of damage there. Alright, shut it down. Shut it down. You're a bit overheated. Oh, there's the heat. I was wondering where the heat was. Alright then. Alright, Arclight. It's time to get you up. Time to wake up. Come on. I know you, you're nice and comfy down there. Have a nice little snooze. Okay. Ready for action. But I think it's time that we really got you the hell out over there. So I'm going to have you... Uh, I don't know if I want you to jump, actually. I think I might just go for sprinting. Yeah, just sprint yourself down here, alright? Give him your backside, because your backside's still got plenty of armour. Alright, you're down there. Who's next? He's backing up. He's watching what's going on. And he's taking shots at Showboat. Oh, don't you freaking dare, mate. She's had enough already. Had enough of your shit. Sorry about that, Showboat. Why don't you take a couple of steps back, alright? Just hide. Yep, alright, down there. And there's nothing else you can do, so brace yourself up there. Commando's trying to make his way around. I think he's trying to get up the showboat, or he's trying to come around behind us. Yeah. Alright, sumo buddy. What's the plan? Paradise. Boot it up. Thank you. Most of those missed. That was good. Okay, sumo. I'm gonna get you to back yourself up right there. Way. Playing a bit of an invasive invasion game here. Can't target anyone, so brace. I'm gonna get her to back up through those trees. There we go. Embrace. Let's see if this will bring him forwards or out from those trees yet. No, he's not coming out yet. Commander? I'm going to put you On there, way. looking out this way. And brace. And this guy's going to keep making his way around here. Yep, it's come up. I knew he was going to do that. I should have faced the other way. Something I can do. should I go? I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm on it. No line of sight or ability to attack him. Damn it. They've got line of sight on her so we can launch those over. Oh, she oh, took it. Wait. She took it good! Well done. Oh, paradise. Get eyes on that bastard. Oi! Dipshit! Feel my wrath! You should have never been <laughs> Light him up! He was unsteady from that. My heat's critical. That's alright. Next move he'll do will be backing out of there. Aye, aye. I want you to just keep moving this way. I 
They'll be running in a second and they'll be running right around in behind him, I hope. We'll wait and see what happens. And brace there. Next up is you, showboat. You're going to turn around and you're going to tell that commando to piss off. Yep, they're going for him now. They just want to ruin paradise. Ruining it for everyone. Right. Showboat, turn it around. Destroy here. Bring down the hellfire! <laughs> Your move. Is he charging me? I thought he was going to charge me for a second. Right here. Sumo. Finish him. Sumo, you seriously fucking suck. <laughs> oh. Hold on, Paradise. You're about to be in a world of pain. No, you're fine. Paradise, put him in a world of pain. Everything. Shutting down. Now I'm a sitting duck. That was interesting. Unfortunately, you overheated again. That's my bad. Understood. Moving fast. He's coming in to get a shot. Because he's shut down, he can get those hits in. Well done. Alright, showboat. I want you to about face again. And this time, let's show Sumo how the fuck it's done. Sumo, pay attention. Showboat, you're a massive disappointment right now. You're just as bad as frickin' Sumo is. Sumo, you better make me proud, mate. You really better. You can do this. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. You missed completely with the lasers, but I'll tell you what. That AC-20 was on spot, and you took out the target. Fuck yeah. That's two enemy mechs down, and I still have my full lance intact. Well, mostly intact. Start her up, Paradise. Say hello. What are these damages at the moment? Couldn't see that before. Roger. Woohoo! Love that. No line of sight yet. It's a crazy position. If he's doing that, he might not... Oh no, he can still get a hit because he still has a... Um, because this guy still has line of sight. He still has, basically... He knows where he needs to shoot. Commander? Moving to position. Just move you over there. Shit. Oh, you sneaky fucking bastard. I think he just did a death from above. Awaiting order. Paradise. About face. An attack. Locking on target. 
nothing I can do. Sumo, bring it on down to here. I'm on the move. And yep, we're going to attack as well. I got him. Oh, he hits him. Oh wait, that registered one of them as a miss. I don't know which one registered that. All right, who's next? Arc light. Aye, aye. Bring yourself into view. Can you? I don't think so. But right there. We've got a bit of a view on. Engaging jump jet. Open fire AC-10-20 hell. Uh, AC-10 hell. Other leg. Nice. Yes. What's he doing? He looks like he's almost running for it. Taking shots at the Kentaro. Kentaro's taking it like a man. Go paradise. Oh, no. Four forwards. Four forward. Damn it. If it was following Battletech rules... If I remember correctly, if he happened to fall forwards, he may have damaged the mech in front of him and pushed him back as well. Good to go. At least I think that's what happens. Okay, what's the chance of your hit? 40% chance of a hit. But you're not facing the right way, are you? Alright, 60% chance of a hit. Let's go for it. Right, Commander. Plus, it's his back. Nice center torso armor right, destroyed ahead, on the rear. And we knocked him over. Ha ha ha! Stay down! Nice. He's standing up. He's pissed! What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot point blank, aren't you? Or are you gonna hit him? Oh! Steps on his crotch! That's a cheap shot, mate. Bloody cheap shot. Oh, we're going all wiggy out there. That was interesting. Okay, developers, note that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Stand up. Come on, mate. You can do it. You've only got one arm, but you can do it. Now let's attack. Fuck him. <laughs> Sumo, yeah. buddy, mate, I'm believing in you right now, all right? I'm, I'm going to bring you in closer. You're going to bring those medium lasers to bear. Maybe even the small lasers. We'll have a look. We will see. Nope, just the mediums, but 100% and 85 on the AC-20. Oh, Sumo, do me proud, mate. Do me what you haven't been. Yes! Thank you! Sumo, you're a god! I'm here. Arc light. Jump. Here. Face. That way. <coughs> Let's show that Shadow Hawk what we're all made of. We're probably going to die very quickly now. <laughs> Everything is broken. Yay! <laughs> He's got full armor just about. So we gotta just pummel the hell out of him. He's moving forward. Oh, he's opening himself up. He's going for you because you've got the least armor in your sense of torso and you're down. She was a true gonna have to work a little harder now. Should be missed. Commander? So, mate. Right. Jump over here. And AC-20 attack. Oh, shit. I just noticed this. It actually shows where you're hitting, which is really cool. Because, again, that's something else in Battletech, is that from certain angles you hit certain areas. So because we're shooting from his right-hand side, we're able to get his right arm, right torso, and right leg. And this shows what areas we're going to hit. And same here. Sweet. That is cool. I love it. Fire. You missed. That's okay. It's alright. You've done me proud in the past. 
Um, Paradise, let's get you in on this one. I'm gonna bring you down here to fire at the left side. Except I sprinted, which means I won't be able to fire, I think. I could be wrong. No, I can still fire. No, I can't fire. Okay. Right here. And you, I'm gonna bring to here. You got it. I'm gonna fire at him from in front. This guy is in for a world of hurt. Open fire, buddy. Oh, 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 what is that? Is that sent the torso? Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, come on. It's like a that was no tickle here. match. That was some real proper pain. He just set fire to the building next to him. Oh, you sneaky bastard! He punched me! He right up ran over and punched me. The little son of a bitch. Get it. Get it. I can do. Can I do that? No, I can't. But what I can do... Is run over to here behind him. And shoot the bastard in the back. I've got to make some... <laughs> Left torso destroyed. Shut it down, shut it down! You don't want you blowing up now, no going crit- although if he went critical, you could probably kill him. He's trying to run for it now. Look at him flee! Alright, showboat. Needs to jump down from there. Bring it down to here. And we're completely out of ammo. Damn it. Alright, hold your position there. Right here. So, you know, start it back up. See, he's still got good amount of armor too at the moment, I think. So he's gonna do alright for a bit. Now losing armor on his right hand side, that's a bad thing. Commander? Right, Commander. She still can't shoot him yet. Yeah. There, Bryce. <clears throat> Armor breach. Internal damage. Waiting for orders. Gonna send her up to here. Spring right, right Commander. Because my next move, I'm gonna take Something sumo. Like and reverse him. Right there. I'm there. So I wanna force this guy to come up. I'm gonna force him to close the range for me. 
worst case, worst thing is though, he's probably gonna actually come around here and take shots over here at um showboat. No, he's going. Is he sprinting? He sprinted. Good to go. Crazy ass bastard. I'm gonna move her down here. And just attack. Here we go. Yep. And it's my turn again. Yeah. I'm taking you. Moving you up to here. Facing that way. You got it. And hopefully finishing him off. Because he's got no left torso. If I fire at his left torso, and if I even possibly even hit him on the back of the center torso, firing at the left torso is going to damage his center torso. And he's got... Yeah, I'm... Just watch. Okay. Let's see what happens. You're kidding me, mate. He's right in front of you. How could you have missed him then? Yeah, I missed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just completely missed because he was... Oh, yeah, he sprinted. That's why. So he's gone for her. All right. Structural damage. She can take the damage. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna do a death from above on him. DFA. Yep. Death from above. Engaging okay, subject. that needs to be moved a bit because the um, text box is sort of coming off. We got that, guys. Oh, removed his front torso. Sumo, come on. Finish the job. Not the leg, aim for the torso. Fuck you! Yes! <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Action report, what's that? That was awesome! Just see that shit. Death from above, took out his center torso armor, and then we just went in all guns blazing there. Jesus Christ, but look at the damage. Oh, man. And the two of you, they're just... You, what was it? Paradise and Arclight are dead. My king, Paradise. Oh. 19 rounds that took. 40 minutes and 50 seconds, it is time for me to go get some sleep. There we go, that's Battletech. This is the beta release. That was actually really awesome. And setting the enemy to random? Brilliant. I had no idea what to expect coming at me. This is like a battle mech game, basically. This is like a proper, full rules battle mech game. Um, little differences in the fact that, you know, when you choose your facing, you could face in literally any, almost any specific direction there were no lock directions so you weren't facing that way or that way or that way sort of a thing you you could slide it around so that was a little bit different but then um no that doesn't even really include torso twisting either so yeah just a, just a little bit different with the way of facing and that but the movement and that still very battle tech this is pretty much like playing battle tech on a basically a um a landscape field so with no grid or anything, but using markers as your um, travel points and all that sort of stuff. It's really good. Really like it. It's really well put together. The graphics are looking great. Um, only thing, I would love to see some clan mechs come in. But starting out with Innisphere is how the guys are going about this. They, they want to start with the Innisphere. They, um, I can't remember what year they're starting off in. Shit. Yeah, they're, they're starting off before the clan invasions, basically. Before the clans were even a thing within the Battletech universe. They're starting back when it was just the Inner Sphere. So it's just Inner Sphere mechs. Basically, the clans had more advanced tech. For those who don't know, for the layman, the clans had more advanced technology. 
is, is essentially what it is. They had much more advanced technology, bigger mechs. When you see Mech Warrior, a lot of people tend to think of the Timberwolf, for example, which is that one with the big missile pods up the top. He's got that big, huge nose of a cockpit that comes out, and he's got these two weapons down on the side, and he's a chicken walker. He's got chicken legs. He's, it's got chicken legs. Love Gurren. What was that Invader Zim? <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's what most people think of when they think of Mech Warrior in a lot of cases, or the Vulture, which is another one that's similar, or Mad Dog, as it's also known as, and the Timberwolf is also known as a Mad Cat. Anyway, I'm rambling on really fast right now, so you're probably having a bit of trouble trying to keep up, because I do speak very quickly a lot of the time. Uh, basically, a lot of people think that that is a clan mech, essentially. That's what the Timberwolf is, Vulture, Summoner, Jenna 2Cs, and all that sort of stuff. So Mech Warrior 2, 31st Century Combat, that was clan. Essentially, those were all clan mechs in that game. This is just the Inner Sphere. This is before the clan invasion. So this is during the war in the Inner between the Inner Sphere houses. So House Davion, Steiner, Dracus Combine, just to name a few, few um, of the easy ones to name. Basically, there are others. I think Kataro is one of them. It starts with a K. I can't remember. Sorry, guys. House Liao. That's one. So yeah, so it's basically during the war between all the, the different houses of the Inner Sphere. So this is uh, basically all of the early explored worlds all the way back down to Earth, which is called Terra, or Terran. I think it might be just Terra. Terra, yeah. But yeah, so it'd be nice to see that when... Because they do plan on bringing Clan Max in in future, basically. They want to get the game finished, the game done, and released. They're, they are saying there will not be an early access... Basically, there won't be, after the beta, there won't be an early access release where they just keep, you know, doing things to it. It will be coming out as a full game first time round, basically. there, And then they'll be, you know, doing patches and all that sort of stuff. Any time when they need to do major patchwork and all that sort of stuff. Um, as it is at the moment, it's brilliant. Like, they're, they're not really planning on doing much in the way of upgrading the beta, so... I don't know if we'll do any more videos of this. If you want me to do more videos of this, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. But um, I'm not planning on doing any more videos of this game. This was just basically a not, uh, just to show you what to expect, what we're coming up with, what they're coming up with, and just to show off the beta and all that sort of stuff. A little bit of free advertising for the guys. This is not sponsored at all by them. In fact, if anything, it's the other way around. I've sponsored them in a way with a pitiful 60 US dollars. Uh, so yeah, speaking of that. Um, if you want to go ahead and get your hands on the beta release, you need to be a beta backer. Um, and I will put a link down in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description below that will lead you off to the site for this and the forums where you can find out what's going on, what to expect and that sort of thing. And you'll also find a link in there to, um, become a backer and help back the project so that they can keep getting money rolling in so that they can keep working on this basically it just sort of helps them out you can buy them donuts for a couple of dollars if you don't want to if you don't if you're not interested in getting the bather and you just want to send off a little bit of money you can do that you can basically buy the guys donuts for a day that sort of thing that's literally the sort of stuff that sort of helps go to they've raised a fair heap amount of money so they are doing pretty well but you know what jump in there give them a hand it's it's great to support game development Especially the development of such an iconic game. Like, this... I'll be honest, I, I don't have any criticism right now that I can think of. Um, there are just a couple of little, you know, little glitches here and there that you probably saw in the game. Like, the zoom started going all shaky and wobbly. Uh, there was the thing with the zoom sort of not zooming back out because of the height of the terrain. But it was allowing me to stay at the zoom level that I was up at the higher terrain. So you need to get the camera to follow down on the terrain. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything, honestly, that I disliked about the game. It obviously needs a tutorial. They're implementing a mech lab. I can see they've got a button that they've put here for a mech lab, which is great. Because one thing I loved about my mechs is being able to customise them. But I really hope that what they do is they take in the Omni rules. So if you have a mech that is built specifically to take a ballistics type weapon within a certain slot, that's the only weapon you should be allowed to put in that slot. A lot of clan mechs were omni mechs, where all the slot, every weapon slot in that could be something else. 
you could take a missile pod out and put in an energy weapon, all that sort of thing, you know. Whereas with this, I'd like to see it be a lot more, pretty much what MechWarrior Online is. You play MechWarrior Online, it the weapons are affixed, basically. You can only put a, a, type, a certain type of weapon in a certain area. So on this atlas, the only thing you could say put here um, would be lasers, because that's what he's fitted for. Up here, the only thing you can put are missiles, because that's what that's fitted for. Same here. This is only a ballistics weapon, so that's all you can put there, unless it's an energy weapon, in which case that's all you would be able to put there. Um, back of his hands, same thing again. In fact, from the looks of it, he's got a laser on the back of that hand. Probably you suspect the same on that one. So then that's the only thing that can be fitted to that section, is an energy weapon, basically. So, yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. Um... I don't know if they have AMS systems implemented or anything like that. So if they don't, it'd be really cool to see those be brought in. Um, something else that you were able to do sometimes in the game is if you're in a wooded area and your mech had hand actuators, which means it basically has hands as opposed to just a pair of guns, basically, you know, it'll actually have hands instead of a gun on the end of its arm. Uh, where if you're in wooded areas, I remember there was a rule once upon a time where you could grab a tree. You could roll to uproot a tree and then use that as a club. I'd also like this, and this is the other thing too that I really love about the fact that they did implement melee attacks. So you saw that mech punching my mech in the back, which was a freaking foul move by the way. But you saw him do that, and that basically imparts the damage from the weight, the amount of damage that can impart is dependent on the weight of your mech and so on basically. It, it, it all depends on the weight, weight of the mechs and all that sort of stuff as to how much damage is implemented during a melee attack. So like when I did the death from above and he did the death from above, same thing again. The amount of damage depends on the weight of the mech. But both mechs take damage when that happens. So punching an enemy mech can end up breaking the armor off your right arm or your left arm. Excuse me, whichever one you use. Or just simply charging into an enemy mech. Same thing again. But uh, I'd like to see just... I don't know. Uh, a little bit more on how that works. How exactly to activate a melee attack and all that sort of thing would be nice. Because there's plenty of times I'm moving and then I'm thinking, well, why can't I do a melee attack now? You know, he's in range. I should be able to punch him. But I, I just I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I have to have him on that side of the mech or anything, but yeah. So, yeah, just a little bit more, um, I, I think maybe some in-game hints would be nice or something like that, but I don't know, really, I, I can't fault it. This is Battletech, as, well, not quite as I remember it, but pretty damn close. So, it's good. It, it is really good, and I'm impressed. Guys, you've done great. This game is fantastic. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't think that it was very possible that I'd be giving this, you know, two thumbs up. It's a fantastic game. It is tops. It is great. There's n there's nothing more I can say about it. So go ahead and hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to, please leave a comment down in the comment sections. Tell me what you think of the game. You know, or tell me if you want me to keep if you want me to come back and play some more, if you want to see some of the other maps, because there's other maps, basically. There's other maps, there's other mechs. If you want to see more, tell me. Tell me what you want to see, you know, what you want me to do. At best, all I can do at the moment is a single-player skirmish between two lancers. That's four mechs each. But with those limitations, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want me to do. You've had a look at what mechs were in there, I think. I went through them real quick. Tell me. Please. The limit is the cost of the mechs, as you saw in the setup of the whole thing. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Also a good idea, hit that little bell icon next to it. That'll give you a notification of every time I upload. Uploads are Saturday and Sunday mornings, preferably. I have been not exactly well lately, so there have been, been some breaks in the schedule. But anyway... And I'll see you in the next video. How's that for